But it was Native American Heritage Month? I don't know. Checks out. What is Chief and my dudes? I hope you're having a fantastic November. I'm sorry that we missed last week. That was all Bryce's fault. I, mean, I don't want to point fingers or anything, but this guy had to go to Vegas. <laughs> that was, didn't it, even happen. It's not my <laughs> fault, and I didn't go to Vegas. It was me. I went to Vegas. I went to Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> That's my fault. Uh, sorry, guys. We but, had a very important episode scheduled to talk about our natives in North America, and Daniel said... Nah, I'm going to go abuse casinos in their names. <laughs> That's not what happened. What happened was I did the research and I said, I'm going to pardon, or not pardon, I'm going to mention two amazing Native Americans that did crazy things. One guy's name was Crazy Horse. The other one was Sitting Bull. Very cool. If you don't know about them, look them up. They're badass. Um, but since we skipped that episode, we're going to go into this episode, which is five people that you cannot pardon because you know you, you pardon one turkey a year um but these are people that you can't pardon because people they, even get pardoned like that's the funniest kind of like i wonder if that's in other countries it's for sure an american thing mm -hmm. where as the president leaves they pardon a bunch of people well you're allowed i think you're allowed to pardon anyone you want anyone which is just insane uh lil wayne got pardoned by donald trump why was he Lil Wayne got hit up. It's, this is usually how it happens. It happens with rappers sometimes where they're in trouble. Lil Wayne for, I think it was drugs and guns. And uh, there was there had to have been some deal where he supported Donald Trump in the 2020 race. Mm -hmm. And in favor or in return, Trump pardoned him is essentially what happened. <laughs> I pardon you for supporting me. Thank yeah, you. that's Thank pretty much. You. It's like, help me get the votes of some young black kids, please. Wow. And I will pardon you. Or some white wannabe yeah. rapper enthusiasts. Yeah. Or some white kids that love black kids. Uh huh. Or that love rap music. That's dude. We would bump Lil Wayne in your freaking yes. blue blazer. Yeah, he's still the goat. I still listen to a lot of Wayne to yeah. this day, and it goes hard. On the way to Vegas, dude, I listened to like at least seven Lil Wayne songs in a row. Yeah, I was there like, you go. Yeah, this is my shit. He, he's got my vote. But we're talking about pardons <laughs> because that's the episode. Oh, you already said it. Yes, I did. That's the I episode we're doing. I pardon you. It's okay. Thank you. And I pardon you for pardoning me. Pardon. So we're talking about three people you can't pardon. Was and it three? I thought it was five. Oh, I did three. Way or she. Oh, you know what? It is three. It okay. is three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's fine. And then at the end of this, let's rank least able to be pardonable the most. Yes. That made sense in my head. Yes. It so was, like this guy, he might be able to get part until we get to the number one guy who can't get part. <laughs> and we had a rule going into this: no Hitler. Oh yeah, yeah. You can't do like major, like Hitler, Dahmer. You know, like major Michael Jackson. Killers. You know, I almost actually put him on here, but then I was like, I can't pardon. I, no, he can't be pardoned. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, nah, I'm not gonna bring him up because. Yeah, you would. No, I'm saying to not pardon him. And you we can't. also talked about this episode pre Kanye anti Semitic run. And I said, I said you can't pardon. I didn't say you couldn't pardon Kanye, but I'm like, I know he's going to. Mm -hmm. um, so, the one person that uh, I would say you cannot pardon is Marco Antonio Fiorito. Oh, that guy. You know who he is. <laughs> You know who he is. And this is the reason why I'm I'm not going to... You can never be pardoned, okay? My curious brain and hormones are going crazy while you're, while you're you know, a teenager and stuff. And you see something that says, two girls, one cup. You're going to click on it, right? Oh. Yeah. That was one of the worst videos I've ever seen in my entire life. The Stanley Kubrick of our generation. <laughs> and you got to watch to a completion, too. You can't, you can't watch them like part of it and be like, ah. Oh. I wish I'd never seen that, but you didn't see the full thing. So you got to commit, to, you had to watch the full thing. And I, I can't get it out of my head. You hear the music and you just, you know the music. I've never seen it. Are you serious? Yeah. Pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, pull it up. <laughs> I, I refuse to pardon this guy, but I'll watch it again for the sake of you watching it for the first Did time. Did he have like sequels? He had to have tried. It's like when the get person made Human Centipede, there's like three other movies. Like this guy for so, sure tried to like. I don't know if they did like. Maybe like two guys, one cup, or uh, nice. one guy, one girl, a cup, and a baby, or something like that. <laughs> fucking weird ass shit. 
but I would assume that they made some sort of sequel. You know that Human Centipede, the first one, they made it, and then the second one was about a security guard watching the first yeah, one so stupid. and trying to recreate it. Yeah. Of course, I watched it, but I'm like, okay, that's it. It's like you're getting way too meta. Right no now. more. I'm not watching the third uh-huh. one. Um, so yeah, I, is there I, an Italian guy that did this? I guess, but I refu- he actually, I think he got sued. Like I, I think like he had to pay a bunch of money because of what. Why? He, because it's so gross. Yeah, but you're watching it on sites where you say, "Yes, I am 18 to watch it." I was. Is not that still 18. not legal? Is there like a higher age? I don't remember having to click on the "Yes, I'm 18 to watch this." Really? I just remember having just watching it. Don't look it up. You'll regret it. <laughs> look it up. Homework of the week. Um, all right. My number one is Jerry Springer. You're not going to party Jerry Springer? No. He's ruined a lot of people's lives and led to a lot of copycats who are then in turn ruining a lot of other people's lives. Maury. Maury Povich. Dude, we watched Maury a lot. Jerry Springer was the OG. It, it, he just goes into like impoverished, low income areas and he gets these people on TV to make a fool of themselves. I don't just, even. And like under the guise, like it would be completely different if he's like, this is the Jerry Springer shit hour. We're going to bring shitty people <laughs> on and fix it. But he's like supposed to be this person helping them. <laughs> like you're not helping them. One of my one of my favorite things on the Maury Povich show was a girl that was afraid of olives. She's like, she's like, no, I don't want no olives. I don't want no olives. He's like, no, no, hey, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Bring in the olives, and then (laughs) she's a fucking jar. She's like, yeah. Like, honestly, can't be pardoned, but I would love to go to one of those shows. It would be funny. It would be really funny. But it would be. I remember I watching that. Like, I don't think they're actors, right? No, are they actors? I think that maybe the bouncers and obviously Jerry, but like. I don't think that the people on there are. Maybe they just have like fake stories and they're just they're trying to get like some clout or like some fame. Yeah. I don't know, dude. That's that show was fucking nuts. Jerry I watched Springer. that at my grandma's house like Thanksgiving. <laughs> Everyone's downstairs like eating and stuff, and I'm like, I'm gonna eat fast so I can go upstairs and watch Jerry Springer. Wow. Or WWE. Memories. <laughs> Jerry Family. Springer is just low grade WWE. <laughs> Pretty much. You just don't see yeah, it's like family therapy, WWE. They just drop the elbow. They don't give you the warning <laughs> yeah. strike. Um, okay, my number two is George Hudson. Oh, F him. Fuck George Hudson. Let me tell you why, okay? This man is an entomologist from New Zealand that came up with the concept of daylight savings time. Oh. Fuck that, dude. Who likes daylight savings? And let me tell you the worst part about this. The reason he proposed a two-hour time shift was so that he could have more after work hours of sunshine to go bug hunting in the summer. I mean, fuck, dude, come on. Bug hunting sucks, but the more sunlight in the summer is a cool yeah, idea. That's that's fine. I want more sunlight. I want more sunlight. Also, all the time. The entire United States adopted a policy from someone in New Zealand. <laughs> He's like, like, why? I just want more bugs on my wall. That's no one was thinking, want. like, wait a minute. This guy's like literally on the other corner of the world. Maybe I, we shouldn't take this into whole account. time. I thought that it was proposed it was by farmers. like farmers. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. So maybe like they adopted it because of him. He's like, love me some bugs. And they're like, corn. I can't believe a bug hunter. <laughs> Yeah. Guys trying to catch fucking bee drills. Fuck man. I, I can't I can't pardon that guy. You you come up with daylight savings time and you're you're a shit house. Yeah, you've hated on that for many episodes. Yeah. I have someone who ruined something. Rob Deerdeck. Really? I don't like Rob Deerdeck. Wow. I, he has a very punchable face, demeanor, attitude. I like the gritty uh kid from the midwest skater but he developed into a mogul that i don't like and he ruined he single-handedly ruined mtv that's shocking i i loved robin big i love fantasy factory. love robin big when he was that skater fantasy factory started morphing mm-hmm. now go on mtv and look at the lineup like any given day 12 of the hours of television is ridiculousness which ridiculous, is low grade tosh.0 i don't like ridiculousness because of that and he he went after Tosh like way back in the day. Really? Yeah, like a Twitter back and forth. Where like I think Tosh made a joke of like, oh, ridiculousness isn't funny or something, and then Rob yeah. Riddick like bit back. Of course. But like anyways, all MTV is is this. And people always joke like, oh, MTV used to be like music videos. Well, MTV used to be like more original content, mm-hmm. and then now it's just all fucking Rob Deerdeck shit. 
Yeah, Rob Deerdick, I can't stand the ridiculous ridiculousness show. Mm-hmm. Like it's just like you said, it's Tosh point oh, but more like kid friendly, I guess. It's not as funny to me. Yeah. It's like just go on Reddit or YouTube if you want to see the videos and not mm-hmm. listen to Chanel West Coast. Dude, her laugh is horrible. I can't stand I she's a very attractive person and I'm sure she's fun to hang out with, but I when she laughs though, I can't stand no, it. It kills it. It's horrible. And that's that's mean to say, but like I just don't like her laugh. Yeah. She has a laugh for silent movies. <laughs> that is a that is a fantastic way to put it. <laughs> A lot for selling movies. Oh man, you know you got a face for radio. Yeah, right? that's yeah, it's, 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 it's the, it's the, I like that. Yeah, that's good. I've never heard that before though. Um, okay, non pardonable. Let me tell you, some other fucking scientist I've never heard of. James Conroy the fourth, the fifth. No, fucking mosquitoes, man. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate mosquitoes. They're the worst. And so it was originally going to be like a week ago when it was raining a lot. Yeah, and I, <laughs> I had like seven mosquito bites. I was just like, fucking mosquitoes, man. No, uh, I can't. I, I was going to write ants originally. Hate ants. And I, I hate them. I, I probably hate them more than mosquitoes because I get affected by them more because they'll come in year round in my room pretty much. And I'm like, in your where? room you get ants? Yeah, I'm like, where the fuck are you coming from? Our, our house is like on an anthill, dude. It's terrible. I think I've just felt a fucking ant or like something. We have a lot of right ants there. in this house. That's what Oregon didn't have. Yeah. Ants. That's what I'm telling you. It sucks. So they go, they come to my room. One time, I'm not kidding you. I woke up with like ants crawling on my arm. I'm like, fuck this. I'm raiding everything in my room. I don't give a shit. Put like lavender. Apparently they hate lavender. So I put that all over my bed and I'm like, okay, cool. So I haven't had a problem since then. Mm. You know, I knock on wood fucking. Um, but sure mosquitoes. Mice. I, I found that uh, ants are actually an integral part of like the food chain. Like if, if they were gone, it would like all crumble because what they're... What do ants eat? No, no, it's not what ants eat. It's what eat ants. But okay, so work, ants, work the logic back for me. Okay, also ants, they, they like aerate the soil and plant stuff for us. So okay, there's more plants. I can buy that. So, yeah, that makes sense. But then also things eat like ant eaters, obviously. They eat ants. Um, I've never seen an ant eater in dude, my life. Not I, at a zoo. I cross ant eaters all the time <laughs> like, and I need them to be alive. Um, but like other things too, like uh, frogs, spiders. they eat ants. I think spiders eat ants. Yeah. Um, other flying insects eat ants as well. I think birds might as well. Um, but then I, I looked it up and it said that because I'm like, well, what, what other fucking insect do I hate? And then I remembered I had, a, I had a mosquito bite like a couple weeks ago that wouldn't go away. And I'm like, okay, mosquitoes. Let's look that up. And it turns out mosquitoes are not an integral part of the food chain. And they if spread they, disease. They're terrible. West Nile, they, they just, they're, they're awful. There's yeah. nothing good about mosquitoes. And it says that there's only, it, it's, it's as if like our whole food source, right? If you took rice out of the equation, no one eats just rice. But that would be a lot less food in the world. But you could eat other things. That's what mosquitoes are to the food chain. They're not integral for the food chain to sustain life. And it said that it might actually do better for the entirety of the world if mosquitoes were gone. So I'm like, yeah, fucking mosquitoes. Can't pardon them. They're they're not good for us. Let's figure this out. We got enough smart people in the world. Let's find a way to extinct mosquitoes. Nukes. 2024 extinct mosquitoes. Let's kill them all. Fuck. Speaking of something I would want to extinct, the comedy of Amy Schumer. Oh, Amy Schumer is my next can't pardon. You know what's you know what's one of the worst things in the world is a hypocrite, and Amy Schumer is extremely hypocritical because she's a stand-up comic, right? You're supposed to have thick skin, be able to roast, and she had some of the thinnest skin at the peak of her career with criticism. Her jokes are all vagina this, vagina that. I don't yeah. care, and like. like it just, it's not funny. There, there's one person that I, I don't think I've ever laughed at, and it was Amy Schumer, as a stand-up comedy, at least. Or stand-up comic. And Chanel I'm sitting there like... West Coast. So she, has, she has some funny stuff. Oh, my God. Until she laughs. And then I'm like, ah, I wish you wouldn't laugh Amy at your own Schumer, jokes. Amy Schumer, you're above Chanel West Coast in my book. Just for the record. Wow. <laughs> Damn. So ridiculous. It's not ridiculousness that you don't like. It's Chanel West Coast. All of it. You, Sterling Brown's kind of cool. I didn't know his name. Dude. I think Sterling something. I think it's Brown. I, I never knew his name. But. Yeah. No, I do. There you go. Um, but yeah, Amy, like the whole, she read basically forced Netflix to redo its ranking system where there wasn't any scores anymore. You know that whole thing? Mm-mm. She put out her special that they paid her like $10 million or like some crazy amount of money for. And it got really bad 
reviews and then Netflix changed their star system to just like a thumbs up or thumbs down. Like you might really? like it or not. Uh huh. Wow. That's fucked. Mm -hmm. When well, you're changing the rules and the goalposts she... because you're sensitive or your crew, your team, whoever is around you is sensitive of how it's going to impact your like career. Like that's not stand up comedy. That's not, yeah. you know, but how, how does she have joke. so much power? Uh, she was huge at the time. She was like, uh, not da yeah, like Dave Chappelle wasn't around. Kevin Hart was really big, like top three to five comics in the world in the late 2000s. Amy Schumer was probably there. I still Early don't. 2010s. I don't think that she was that good, so I don't understand how she got that big. I think, I don't know, maybe it was or wasn't a lot of other uh, female comics doing it like her. I mean, it's kind of like Ronda Rousey, right? She wasn't that talented, but she got huge. She was pretty talented until yeah, she got she, kicked in the face hard. She Yeah, she... I don't know, Ronda Rousey wasn't. She, isn't it? She wasn't that like skilled of a fighter when you break it down. She was. She was good at takedowns or or like the quick the quick one and done pretty much. Like she was. She only had like one round like her, in every single fight. I feel like if you're a good fighter, your flame doesn't go out like that. Hers yeah, went out true. like that. What was sad though was when she went out, it was like depression. Like she wanted to kill herself. It was like because you went, you were up here, dude. You were up here. You were the highest of everyone else. Mm -hmm. and, then and then she, then she you forced get taken the down. UFC to change their star rating. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now she's doing fucking WWE. <laughs> oh, can we not show loss rankings anymore? <laughs> Just not, wins. Can we not show highlights where I get kicked in the face really hard? I'd appreciate that. Please. Thank you. I know I didn't land a strike, but just show me walking out and then walking <laughs> away. And the Ronda Rousey fight ended. That's it. That's it. We're done. Yeah, Amy Schumer was huge. And I feel like I liked her. I didn't have any issue against her. Like, even comics I, that I don't think are funny, like, I won't outwardly be like, Fuck you. But like, well, once yeah. you start act, like acting a way that makes you seem like privileged or above like mm -hmm. public scrutiny, it's like, who do you really, like, who, who are you? But I also heard that she was like, she got in trouble for stealing people's jokes. Yeah. It's her or someone on her writing team. There's a whole video on YouTube. That's really great. It just shows the original joke compared to the skit that was on mm -hmm. inside Amy Schumer. Yeah. It, it is. It's like, Hey man, I'm let you copy my homework, but just change it a little bit, okay? Yeah. Don't let her know. <laughs> just get a couple answers yeah. wrong. It's like I wrote it in a blue <clears throat> pen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wrote it in the exact same pen and style that you did. I'm so fucked. <laughs> yeah. But that's mine. So all right, who do we got? I oh, yours. I'm not gonna be able to recognize. Don't your you're not gonna know. Just say Amy Schumer, Jerry uh, Springer, Springer, not Seinfeld, and uh, another dude, Rob Dyrdek. Okay, I got. Daylight Savings. No, mosquitoes. his name is Marco Antonio Fiorio. I'm not gonna remember that. <laughs> Two girls, one cup guy. Oh, mosquitoes. Uh, mosquitoes probably savings. number one can't be pardoned. No, mosquitoes are my top for sure. That's yeah. why I saved it for last because it's like, yeah, you can't beat that. And then in my book, what was yours? Rob Dyrdek, Amy Schumer, Jerry Springer, versus Daylight See, Savings. I'm okay with Jerry Springer. I'm yeah. not gonna pardon him. Rob Dyrdek. Or I'm not gonna not pardon him. Rob did I like him too I don't I don't like ridiculousness though that's my yeah, issue that's him <laughs> I know it's, it's, it's him it's now everything. it's him now but you can't you can't just base it on that he, do you like DC shoes that's also him I used to love DC yeah, shoes yeah you used to Dude, you used to like shoes, Rob Dyrdek my shoes were, the fucking tongue was this big putting them on you had to grip it like this and yeah skin, you have daylight savings daylight and, savings oh, two mosquitoes girls, one cup. Two I got one two cup. girls one no cause that was like a meme not to mention, though, honestly, it did bring you closer to your friends. Yes. It's a like, thing. dude, we, sh we shared this Popular torment. culture. You yeah. can't forget. It's it's like your siblings. You're close to your siblings because you grew up together yeah, and you and went you, through the same shit. And you're like, well, shit. Well, this was you looked at the shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's horrible. I want Rob Deerdeck as number two. Can't pardon. I'm probably going to put him in my bottom, honestly. Like, he's cool. I right, like Here's Rob how Dyrdek. I'll do it. Here's mine. Mosquitoes, Rob Deerdeck, Daylight Savings, Amy Schumer... Two girls, one cup. And then Springer? And Springer, yeah. Oh, really? Okay, I'm shocked by that. Yeah. Okay, I, I would say for me, mosquitoes are my top. Dude, Rob Deerdick is the mosquito of cable I know for sure Rob Deerdick and Jerry Springer are on my bottom. Like, I'm cool with them. They probably share last place. Let's just say that. Uh, but then Amy Schumer might be second for me. Okay. I, don't, I just don't like don't her. Hate it. I don't like her. Um, so, mosquitoes, Amy Schumer... Fucking daylight savings, two girls, one cup, Springer, Deer Deck. That's six, right? Okay. Yeah. I feel like that's a fair order for me. I can't believe you didn't like Rob Deer Deck. That's shocking. No, I don't. 
Okay, well, so really quick, I forgot about this. Earlier before we started the show, I told Bryce uh, I was going to put my keys in my pocket and then sit down, but I'm like, ah, don't want to do that because of my grandpa. And he's like, well, what about your grandpa? I'm like, I'll, just, I'll tell you in a second. So basically, my grandpa used to do this thing where he, he would take toothpicks and he'd put them in his pocket and then he would just walk around because anytime he had food, he could just pick it out of his teeth, right? Well, one day he put them in his pocket and then sat down and the toothpick was like a meatball on a stick, just went right through his testicle, just straight through it. And the worst part was, not only did it go through his ball, but he was like, well, you know, to kind of lubricate the toothpick, I'll put some water on it so that it'll slide out easier. What does wood do when it gets wet? Expands. It expands. <laughs> so, so he had a toothpick in his ball, puts water on it, and then it expands. <laughs> And the fucking doctor was like, why would you do that? He had to go to the hospital, get it like surgically removed. Oh my God, really? Luckily, he did it break off in his testicle? I don't know. I didn't ask many more questions than that. Um, Scientific thing I would want to know is what's inside there. Right? When you pulled it out, probably blood. Well, most likely blood, yeah, but like... To like dissect the testicle, I would like the eighth wonder of the world. I would have no idea what it would look like if you split it apart. Um, But yeah, luckily he had already had his all of his kids at that point. (laughs) Yeah, he (laughs) wasn't having any. I wouldn't be here if he had done that like ten years prior. (laughs) He gave his next offspring was Pinocchio. Yeah, it was Pinocchio. (laughs) Geppetto. (laughs) Geppetto was his name. My grandfather's Geppetto. I didn't tell you this, but it's Geppetto. I'm a fucking Pinocchio. I'm a a real boy. Guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you had a great November. We have one more month until fucking 2023, which is wild to think that we started this podcast in, uh, I guess, 2020, but the idea in 2019, mm-hmm. which is crazy. We had so, the idea for a bit, yeah. Um, thanks for sticking around with us. We appreciate every one of you that's listening and or watching. Have a great weekend. See you in December. And from all of us here at the Chief and Podcast... Keep it cheap. Good sewed, guys.